Well, I decided to abandon ship. Uh, no TV. It oh, it's right here. All right, yeah. So I uh, I decided, like I said, to just take it down because that really was going to be the only safe way. Cantilevering it out and trying to drill, not happening. Now something interesting that was already here that I'd like to show you is right here. You see, there's a little tiny hole. I need to make that a much bigger hole. And I think that is going to be perfectly where I need it. I would have liked to do it in the corner over here, but I don't want to take chances on anything. I think it's just the right height. It's just perfect. I see the hole on the other side, and that's good because of the holes down below. It lines up. I, I mean, it's, it's all going to line up, but I, I think it'll work out. That's where the hole is going, and that is the current plan. Now, ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, now is to drill that hole. But before we do that, uh, let's take a look at the TV, because it's down. So here we are, high-definition plasma television. So there, it's high-definition. It's a model TX-42PX60U. 250 watts, 290 watts, I can't read it. 390 watts, 390 watts. I can't see anymore. September 2006. That is just a little sooner than when the Big Six was made. So, it's uh, been around. Assembled in Mexico. So I think we have all the information we need. And here is the controls panel over here and this is something I wanted to see ha huh, interesting so first of all oh it does have it digital audio out where's the camera there we are digital audio out might be able to put a sound bar in here on on here don't know what's under that and I'm not looking antenna in just coax up there and you have your two component inputs, HDMI audio in, um, HDMI 1 audio in, I guess for older HDMI devices that didn't support audio on HDMI, not sure. And then you have your composite and S-video inputs and your HDMI audio in too. I haven't tested that. Maybe that would be worthwhile doing, but I'll worry about that after. <laughs> yeah, and then on the right side, program out, I think it says. P-R-O-G out. That's what it looks like to me. So composite out for everything. Power goes up in here. Clip for the cable. There is a fan. You can see the wires. And another fan. So those fans will come on if they need to. There is no fan over here. And yes, it would have been nice to have a third, but too bad doesn't have that kind. I'm amazed that there is no VGA input. That was a fairly common thing. Oh well. It is what it is. Some electronica in there. There's blue stuff. A lot more blue stuff. This was probably toward the later end of capacitor gate or capacitor plague and it still works I don't know how many hours are on it I haven't looked I'll, I'll get one one of these years you know I'll worry about it then it's not it's not a big deal we got we got a hole to drill so I'm gonna get my shit together and I'm gonna drill it and I'm not gonna show you that because it's gonna be a shit show so I'm gonna get it done and I'll come back after and we'll see how bad I did I think this might actually work with the camera like that. Something interesting I never knew. 
there is a tile missing. That sucks. <laughs> You'll never see it. It was like that. But, uh, you know, whatever. You know, I'm actually curious. It doesn't do any good, but I'm actually kind of curious if it is just a missing tile or if they tried to... Dr they, there is a hole there. Huh. Do I have a pokey stick? Um, not here, but I can get one. Let me see if I can get out of here. And uh, get a pokey stick over here, just to look. Here's a pokey stick. I got a pokey stick. That seemed to go through enough. Oh yeah, I feel it. So somebody started the drilling. I could theoretically continue that and like chip these tiles out. I get, I, I, I want to almost say that's perfect for a coaxial cable to go through, but by the same token, where in the fuck would you plug it in? There's no power. So that doesn't solve that problem. So I have no idea what that little hole is for. Maybe to pass stash to the guys down below. I don't know. So I got some duct tape on the wall. The hole is uh, here. It's right here. I put duct tape on the other side of the wall. And we're just going for it at this point. Um, the duct tape is as tight on the wall as I can get it. I can't think of anything else to do except to make sure that lines up with the hole there. And uh, that's really it. The camera tripod leg is right in the way. So I'm just going to do this slow and we'll just go and see. It's also crooked. Well, it looks like it is cutting there and not up top, so we got to kind of angle it a bit for some reason. That's interesting. That's going to make this a lot more difficult. This is not something I really do, so I, I don't really know what I'm doing. I just know that I have to do something, <laughs> if that makes no sense. So we'll go up a bit and take some more. Be through by now. Let me go see the other side. No, it has not gone through all the way yet. Wow, uh, this is just thin stuff, so kind of surprised, but whatever. Wow, I think we got it. Perfect. Nice. <laughs> nice deal. Awesome. That worked really well with the duct tape. Love that kind. That doesn't seem to have really torn out much at all. The other side, it tore and the duct tape is gone. I kind of figured that was going to happen. Thicker than I imagined. It didn't tear much. It's just not as pretty as I would have hoped, but what, you're not really going to see it over on that side. We got this dirt there. We got to, that's no good. 
China to the rescue. The green note little vacuum thing. Plugs in AC, so that's good. Let's see if it doesn't blow the breaker with the heaters on. Clean up whatever else might be around. This is one of those China products that actually works like reasonable. And uh, I like it. I use it for the steps in the house. It works way better than my old solution for doing the steps. I'm going to peel the tape off. Which is not coming off as easily as I would have hoped, but... Wow, is that whole fucking clean! <laughs> Wow, that's a clean hole. That's what she said. That's what he said. Uh, wowee. Yeah, like I said, I don't know what I'm doing, but um, that's a pretty clean fucking hole. Pretty goddamn spiffy right there. Not bad. You're never going to see it. Um, just slight tearing around the hole on the other side. So really not too bad. And here is the duct tape from the other side. Maybe I'll see if I could peel that disc off. Yeah, I'll save that as a little memento. I don't know where to put it yet. Find a place and then I can vacuum up all this stuff with the vacuum that I have out already. So that way I can get my vacuum to vacuum things. Or I could just use the Just stick that you know that kind of works too turn it the other way okay there so I don't have to turn the vacuum on for 10 seconds that's enough of my saving the planet for the next year I think right under the alarm panel on this nail it's just perfect to keep the memento is that a round to it? I think I just got another one. We're on the lemon lime citrus twist hard right now. Need a little something. That went, I mean, that's, that's a clean hole. That's a nice clean hole. <laughs> That went way better than I ever, ever imagined. So now I have to uh, feed the cables that I know I'm going to need through here. And I made this hole this size specifically because after I get done with the big cables, there's smaller cables. And smaller cables and smaller cables and smaller cables and smaller cables and before you know it you can't fit another cable through that hole we're gonna start with power feed that through and kind of leave it hang over on this side see there's the takes an IEC cord and now we have a component cable, and I showed you in that video that I need that distance at least. And obviously that's, I, I probably could have done a smaller one, but there's probably as time goes on, there's going to be more and more and more cable. Now it's all going to just be wireless. <sighs> Put another cable in, in the television. All I want is YouTube and a picture, picture, picture. And we have another component cable. See the pro see as it fills up, you know, and I gotta squeeze five friggin' RCAs through. It's easy now. That's why I'm doing the big ones now. <laughs> 
But look how much of that has already gotten used. As far as these component cables, I don't know which one is which. I should mark them, but I, I guess I worked on this setup before. Uh, I know that I'm going to need something that I can't get. Oh, I can get, 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 get. I can get, get, get to no, 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 you better, better, baby. But I don't know if I can do it from this side. And it's okay if I can't. Oh, it fits. Nice. It didn't have to. I could have come from the other side. This is the power for the Android TV box. So I know I'm going to need that. So we have power for the TV, two components, and um, the power for the Android TV box. The little Micronta green clock, which is in the pile of shit here. This here was going to go perfectly in the TV, but I might put a soundbar there instead. I have one that just came in from China. There'll be a link in the prescription, and it fits with the Club J motif. Uh, so I think we might end up doing that instead and uh, forego the clock or put the clock. What I could do is put the Android TV box. Uh, I was originally going to put it over on this side, but I think I might put it over where the soda can is and put the clock there instead in that corner. I think it should fit there maybe. But I have to see, it's kind of wonky, the sound bar, the sound bar is kind of wonky as well, the way that sits. Um, it sits like on the feet of the TV that jut out. I, I have to see if I'm going to do that or not. If not, I'll put the clock there for sure. But I just don't know yet, because um, I haven't uh, gotten that far. Um, I have to run an Ethernet cable through there, but I'm not up to that part of the project yet. That can be done after the TV is back up. Um, an HDMI cable will need to go through there, but again, I'm not really up to that part of the project yet. Um, composite and S video. I don't know yet. I just haven't decided what I'm going to do, if I'm going to use those for anything or not. So I think that kind of is it for now. Um, the next part of the project is going to put the TV back up there and hook these cables into it which is going to be fun, to say the least. <laughs> the, uh, oh, the elephant in the room! The elephant in the room! That's what you're asking. What's that cable that's hanging, Jay? Let's see if I can zoom in, because this way I don't have to walk over to it. I guess we got to go up a little more on this janky tripod. So what we have, a little too much, is a janky connection. I mean, what else would you have? It's composite with stereo that's not really composite with stereo. You see, Rudy, what I got there is a cable that was used with a Swan brand, S-W-A-N-N, -N, Swan brand security camera. Uh, this was the last of the old school shit with the black and white CRT TV. And it had two composite cables, or two cables with RCA at each end, which is the white and the yellow that you see. The red is actually a barrel jack for power. And those three cables all run together as one, so you run the one cable and that gives power to the camera as well as a video signal or something. Maybe, I forget if it has 
female at the other end or like it was an extension cable or what I, I don't remember I got it a tiny middle years ago and dangling is my wonky I never even taped the fucking wires connection <laughs> for the right channel of sound and that runs over to the monitor at the bar which is here this made an appearance in a video somewhere I can't remember anymore uh, an October fail maybe no yes the maybe the computers thought it was October back in August one of those videos if I remember I'll, I'll put a link in there uh, I had to change out the monitor that was here an old Magnavox Magnascan 20 for this thing Samsung um, monitor it's a 21 inch and pardon me it's got a cool little thing I don't I don't have the best lighting here but your controls for like centering the picture and moving it up and down and stuff that we had they got digital this is actually digital check it out <laughs> there's all your buttons right there and when you're done so it's like a wired remote built in. <laughs> My dad in 1983, 4, or 5, I can't remember which, bought a 13-inch Panasonic color TV with on-screen display. And it had at the top of it a similar mechanism that clicked in and out. But the thing that would click in and out was actually the remote control. And the numbers were sideways on it, and it would click in at the top. It had a socket kind of thing it would fit into. You'd stick the front end in, and then the back end would go click, click, just like that does. And it would lock in. So now you have the number button, so you could punch in the channel you wanted on the cable readiness that it had. But it also had a door that would flip down with buttons in there, and you only had your channel up and down and volume up and down and shit like that. But with the remote stored in the TV, then um, that way you wouldn't lose it. And if you needed it, click, click, take it right with you, and off you go. So those cables make their way over here that go to behind the thing. I can't show you now because that's all a fucking project and a half as well where there is a VGA up converter. I never knew what this was, but there was one available at Tiny Middle back in the day, and I bought it. It wasn't actually for sale, but I bought it. I talked to the manager and said, this is sitting around, how much? And he said, ah, 10 bucks. I said, okay, sold. <laughs> Couldn't pull that $10 out of my wallet that fast, fast enough, you know. And I bought that, and it takes S-Video or Composite, and converts that to VGA, and here is a VGA monitor. And with speakers on it, like you would have for the computer, because it does sound pass-through, you got a TV out of a VGA monitor, and that's kind of nifty. Yeah. So I definitely want to solder those wires, uh, which I might actually do later, because I have to fire up the si si soldering iron for something later anyways. So that might actually be a good time to work on that. Because China is sending me another soldering station helping hands things, so that actually might be good. And I don't know, maybe heat shrink maybe? I'm not sure. So I might as well just fix that while I'm at it. And then... Should I run an S-Video line over to the... So I can do that, and then I can have two inputs? That I don't need? Because I barely even watch TV, and, and, and maybe I could... I don't know. Like, if the options are there, I just don't know what to do with them yet. But anyway, the hole is drilled. Um, there's going to be an HDMI cable going through there. There's going to be a coaxial cable going through there just to do it so this way you can hook the cable box up to the TV over an RF connection and you might be saying why in the fuck would you want to do that and you're retarded Jay because you should be hooking it up with 
um, fucking HDMI and have a 1080 element of P and all that. Well, first of all, the cable company only outputs 1080i. That's first. And secondly, <laughs> secondly is this was still made in the time where broadcast TV, they were doing stuff beyond in stereo where available that we used to have in the 80s. You had now closed captioning. You had um, second audio program and all kinds of other bullshit like that. And it had like an AI sound kind of thing where it could lower the volume of the commercials automatically and raise them when the show comes back on. But it can't do that over HDMI or component or composite or S video or any other connection except RF. That's what it's designed for and that's what it uses. And for fuck's sake, if you're watching an SD program, you might as well get the full coax experience. And yes, in case you're interested, my TV upstairs is exactly the same way. Okay, that's all I got for now. Thanks so much for watching. There'll be an update in the future, of course. Make sure you click like, make sure you click subscribe, and take care. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.